a mysterious planet has piqued the interest of scientists and space enthusiasts alike. James Webb Telescope just announced the clearest image of Proxima be seen in history. What secrets does this distant world hold? Can it support life? Let's have a look into what the James Webb Telescope just revealed. Looking back billions of years into the universe's history, we can glimpse how galaxies came into existence. With the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, we can take that principle to the next level and explore the furthest reaches of space. The infrared images captured by the JWST are unlike anything human eyes have ever seen before, and the telescope's capabilities depend on how it's utilized. Much like a Snapchat filter on your phone, the James Webb Space Telescope enables astronomers to study the early universe and better understand the birth of galaxies, stars, and planets. Researchers can analyze the hues in those images by using the telescope's camera and filters to gather a specific range of light colors. The JWST will also investigate the atmospheres of planets outside our solar system and search for indications of extraterrestrial life. Its ability to look further back in time and space than ever before has led to significant findings on the evolution of the cosmos. For example, astronomers used the telescope to discover more mass than previously believed to exist in the universe, hidden away in several massive galaxies. James Webb Telescope just announced the clearest image of Proxima be seen in history. In 2013, astronomers detected hints of a tiny gravitational tug exerted by a planet on its star. After years of searching, the planet, which orbits Proxima Centauri, was later named Proxima b. The discovery of this planet is fascinating since it orbits the closest star system to us after the Sun observing the Alpha Centauri system, which is around four light years away from us, provides a glimpse into the past, as we are seeing it as it was four years ago. Proxima b certainly takes the cake when it comes to exciting astronomical discoveries. This planet is located a mere 4.25 light years away from Earth, making it one of the closest exoplanets ever discovered. But don't let the distance fool you. Proxima b is a whole different world from our own. The planet is about 30% more massive than Earth, which means it's bigger too. However, Proxima b's year only lasts 11.2 Earth days, which is super short. That's because the planet orbits its star, Proxima Centauri, at a distance of just 7.3 million kilometers, less than 5% of the distance between Earth and the Sun. You might be thinking that a planet that's so close to its star must be boiling hot. But Proxima Centauri is a tiny red dwarf star that doesn't radiate nearly as much energy as our Sun. So, what would it be like to stand on the surface of Proxima b and gaze up at Proxima Centauri? The star would look like a dull red orb, roughly three times as big as our sun. And if the planet is in its star's habitable zone, which it appears to be, it might have the right conditions to support liquid water. But before you start packing your bags for an interplanetary adventure, you should know that Proxima b is far from a second Earth. For one, the planet is likely tidally locked with its star which means one side faces the star while the other is always in darkness. That's definitely not a comfortable environment for any potential life forms. And any water that comes too close to the star would be boiled away by its powerful radiation. On the other hand, if a planet is too far from its star, it won't receive enough heat and all of its water will freeze. Proxima Centauri, despite its proximity and the initial excitement surrounding its potential for hosting life, may not be as conducive to habitability as we once hoped. Though Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf star with only a fraction of the sun's mass, this characteristic plays a significant role in making it less friendly to life. In larger stars like our sun, the energy-generating core is deeply embedded within a vast outer layer of cooler gases, creating a relatively stable environment. However, due to its small size, Proxima Centauri's nuclear fusion core is situated much closer to its surface. This proximity has far-reaching implications. The limited space within the star means that the energy from nuclear fusion does not have a thick outer layer to buffer or moderate it before it interacts with the star's surface and outer layers. Consequently, the surface of Proxima Centauri experiences intense and turbulent activity, much more so than what we observe with our sun. This chaotic surface activity leads to the generation of extremely powerful magnetic fields, which are intrinsic to stars, governing various stellar phenomena. In the case of Proxima Centauri, 
These fields are particularly potent due to the star's dynamic and volatile surface conditions. The interaction between these strong magnetic fields and the star's plasma results in high-energy radiation bursts and intense particle ejections. Such events are far more frequent and violent than those associated with larger, more stable stars like our Sun. For planets like Proxima b, which orbit within the habitable zone of Proxima Centauri, these powerful magnetic fields and associated high-energy radiation pose substantial challenges. The habitable zone, or the Goldilocks zone, is typically where liquid water might exist on a planet's surface given the right atmospheric conditions. However, the constant bombardment by high-energy radiation and charged particles from Proxima Centauri creates an inhospitable environment. This radiation and particle burst can strip away the atmosphere of a planet over time, leading to the loss of essential gases critical for maintaining a stable climate and protecting surface life. This atmospheric erosion can drastically reduce the planet's ability to support liquid water and, by extension, any potential life forms. Additionally, the intense radiation can also directly harm any biological organisms that might arise, subjecting them to conditions that could be detrimental to their survival. The volatile nature of Proxima Centauri's surface activity thus casts a shadow over the potential for life on Proxima b. While the planet's location within the habitable zone initially suggested a possibility for life, the reality of its environment, subjected to relentless and extreme stellar activity, renders it a harsh and challenging place for sustaining life as we know it. The combination of powerful magnetic fields, high-energy radiation, and the consequent atmospheric challenges makes Proxima be far less likely to be a haven for life than once imagined. While scientists had some knowledge about the magnetic field conditions around nearby stars, they were in the dark about the precise conditions around Proxima Centauri until now. Thanks to a recent study using high-resolution magnetic field maps, we better understand the star's solar wind and the dire situation on Proxima b. The study revealed that the planet receives roughly 1,000 times more solar wind radiation than Earth, putting any potential life at risk from powerful flares. In fact, a Proxima Centauri flare in April 2021 was 100 times more potent than any flare ever observed from the Sun. It's hard to imagine life surviving such intense radiation without specialized shelter. While the idea of a habitable planet orbiting Proxima Centauri is captivating, the reality seems far from hospitable. As humans, we have always been fascinated with the possibility of encountering extraterrestrial life, and in late 2020, that fascination reached new heights when a peculiar signal was discovered originating from the Alpha Centauri system. Interestingly, this signal reads at an unusual frequency of 982.551. The breakthrough initiatives have been researching the possibility of cutting down travel time from hundreds of years to just decades. Recent research highlights how current technology could potentially overcome the challenge of accelerating an object as its mass increases particularly as it approaches the speed of light. Despite this, Alpha Centauri, being the closest star system to Earth, would still require around 6,000 years of travel time with current technology, making it a daunting journey. Starshot, a project aimed at reaching Alpha Centauri, is considering using lasers to propel a spacecraft toward its destination. However, the main challenge lies in Earth's atmosphere, which affects incoming light and laser light, making it difficult to exert the necessary force to move a spacecraft forward. Benunga, the paper's first author, suggests that adaptive optics could be used in reverse to overcome this challenge. Small lasers on satellites would assess atmospheric effects in real time, allowing much more powerful lasers on the ground to maintain a tight focus on the space probe. The required lasers need a whopping 100 gigawatts of power to send the vessel at any given time, equivalent to the entire electricity consumption of the United States. However, the lasers only need to run at maximum capacity for 10 minutes to disperse the electricity across a kilometer-square region. They plan to use 100 million lasers. The Starshot team is determined to push the boundaries of space exploration. The object hurtling through space will be moving at an astonishing 20% of the speed of light. When the lasers are turned off, this spacecraft would be a little over 10 meters in diameter and could reach Alpha Centauri in just 22 years. However, the gravitational pull of the sun and interstellar debris may considerably slow it down. Even if the spacecraft reaches Alpha Centauri, its transmissions will take another four years to reach Earth. 
Benunga and Seibel know that keeping the probe from melting is one of the biggest challenges. To prevent this, the mirror on the spacecraft must be practically perfect, reflecting 99.99% of the light that strikes it. Additionally, it needs to double the momentum transfer while decreasing heat in a matter of days. Once launched, the probe would traverse the Alpha Centauri system, likely never getting very close to a planet. The fascinating part of this concept is that once the launch system is in place, more probes may be sent for a reasonable price. The chances of catching a fleeting glimpse of any Earth-like planets are significantly increased if a fleet of probes floods adjacent star systems. Imagine the possibilities. After arriving at Proxima Centauri, mankind would have an entire star system to explore. How many additional planets like our own might there be? Exoplanets are planets outside our solar system, and thousands have already been discovered. In 1992, scientists made the first official findings of planets circling a particular class of neutron star called a pulsar. Three years later, the first planet revolving around a star similar to the Sun was found. Since then, numerous additional planets have been discovered, including several Earth-sized worlds within the habitable zones of their stars. The quest for understanding distant planets and their potential for life continues to captivate scientists and enthusiasts alike. In the vast expanse of the cosmos, each new discovery unveils a piece of the puzzle that is our universe. Proxima Centauri b, often simply referred to as Proxima b, stands out among these discoveries as a tantalizing glimpse into the possibilities beyond our solar system. Located approximately 4.25 light-years away in the Alpha Centauri star system, Proxima b orbits its host star, Proxima Centauri, at a distance that places it within the star's habitable zone. This zone, also known as the Goldilocks zone, is the region around a star where conditions may be just right for liquid water to exist on a planet's surface, a key ingredient for life as we know it. Despite its promising location, Proxima b faces significant challenges that complicate its potential habitability. As a planet orbiting a red dwarf star, Proxima b is subject to intense stellar activity. Proxima Centauri, being a red dwarf, is known for its frequent flares and bursts of radiation. These energetic outbursts can strip away a planet's atmosphere over time, eroding the protective layer that shields life from harmful cosmic rays. Moreover, Proxima b is likely tidally locked to its star, meaning one side of the planet always faces towards Proxima Centauri, while the other side remains in perpetual darkness. This tidal locking can lead to extreme temperature variations between the day and night sides of the planet, posing further challenges for potential life forms. Understanding the composition and atmosphere of Proxima b is crucial to assessing its habitability. Future telescopes and observatories such as the upcoming James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, will play a pivotal role in studying exoplanets like Proxima b. These advanced instruments will enable scientists to analyze the planet's atmosphere, searching for signs of gases that could indicate biological activity or the presence of life. The search for life beyond Earth extends beyond Proxima b. Astronomers have identified thousands of exoplanets orbiting distant stars, each offering unique insights into planetary formation and evolution. From hot Jupiters to icy super-Earths, the diversity of exoplanetary systems challenges our understanding of planetary dynamics and the conditions necessary for life. Recent advancements in observational techniques and data analysis have accelerated the pace of exoplanet discovery. Techniques such as the transit method, which detects slight dimming of a star's light as a planet passes in front of it, have proven particularly effective in identifying exoplanets across the Milky Way galaxy and beyond. The study of exoplanets is not only about searching for extraterrestrial life, but also about understanding the broader context of planetary systems. Each new discovery adds to our understanding of planetary diversity, climate dynamics, and the factors that shape habitability. Looking ahead, future missions and observatories aim to expand our knowledge of exoplanets and their potential for life. Concepts such as direct imaging missions and next-generation space telescopes promise to revolutionize our ability to study distant worlds in unprecedented detail. The exploration of exoplanets also raises profound questions about humanity's place in the universe. Are we alone in the cosmos? Or is life a common occurrence on planets orbiting other stars? 
Answering these questions requires not only technological advancements, but also interdisciplinary collaboration across astronomy, biology, and planetary science. In the coming decades, as our capabilities to study exoplanets continue to improve, we may finally uncover the answer to one of humanity's oldest questions. Are we alone? The study of exoplanets also contributes to our understanding of Earth's place in the universe. By comparing our own planet to its extraterrestrial counterparts, scientists gain insights into the conditions that have allowed life to flourish on Earth for billions of years. These comparative studies shed light on the factors that contribute to habitability and the potential for life beyond our solar system. In conclusion, while Proxima b presents intriguing possibilities for exploration, its environment presents formidable challenges for sustaining life as we know it. As technology advances and our understanding of exoplanets deepens, the search for life beyond Earth continues to inspire awe and wonder, driving humanity's quest to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos.